Verse 3 reads, In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruit of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of the flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. What was wrong with Cain's sacrifice? Some say it was not a blood sacrifice, and so it was unacceptable. But the text doesn't say this, that that was a problem with Cain's sacrifice. The Old Testament actually prescribes a number of grain offerings, which are acceptable to God. God is honored when we bring whatever gifts we have to him. More likely, the problem was the attitude with which Cain offered his sacrifice to the Lord. He may have done it grudgingly, for example. The Old Testament often talks about sacrifices that are of no value because of the attitude of the giver. Hosea 6.6, 6, God says, For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. The heart attitude is the key. The New Testament says the same thing. 2 Corinthians 9.7 says, Each of you should give what you've decided in your heart to give not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. The letter to the Hebrews talks about this very passage in Genesis. In the great hall of fame of faith in Hebrews 11, we learn that Abel's offering was by faith. Hebrews 11:4. by faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. It was the attitude of faith that Abel gave with that was rewarded. Cain's was evidently given out of a sense of compulsion and grudgingly. 